The town with the highest residential tax rate in the Commonwealth is considering another fee. 22 News I team reporter Ryan Walsh found out why Longmeadow is exploring the possibility of adding a charge for stormwater runoff. This discussion is in the very early phases, but Longmeadow wouldn't be the first town in western Massachusetts to do this. When it rains or snows, it could pour out of your wallet. Longmeadow is exploring the possibility of adding a stormwater runoff charge to home and business owners' bills. One of the reasons why we're looking at this now is the EPA, the federal government, is about to uh, promulgate more stringent regulations on how to manage stormwater. Longmeadow wouldn't be the first to do it. Westfield, Northampton, and Chicopee all charge their home and business owners a stormwater runoff fee. Helps to keep raw sewage out of the rivers, things like that, and just general maintenance. There's a lot of pipe under there that takes takes care of only stormwater. Northampton charges homeowners between sixty-eight and two hundred sixty-six dollars based on the size of their roof, driveway, and other hard surfaces. While Chickabee charges homeowners a flat rate of one hundred dollars per year for single-family homeowners. Longmeadows town manager told Twenty Two News they are just exploring the possibility now and don't have any details on how they might structure the fee. It's too soon to say which one we're going to end up with, but we're going to look at all those different methods. We're going to take the best practices from other communities that do this and see which one fits best with the town of Longmeadow. Crane told 22 News tax-exempt buildings would also have to pay this fee if approved. This fee is nowhere near a done deal. Crane told 22 News they would likely have to change a bylaw to approve this and the voters would have final say at their town meeting. Live in the studio, Ryan Walsh, 22 News.